Mary made 15,000 milliliters of tea for a party, and she served the tea divided equally in eight pitchers. Her guests drank six pitchers of tea. How much tea did Mary have left over? Write the answer is a whole number of liters and a whole number of milliliters. So let's think about this a little bit. She's got eight pitchers. So let's visualize these pitchers. So let me see if I can see. Let me draw a pitcher here. So this is one pitcher. Let me do my best to draw a nice pitcher. So this is one pitcher. And she's going to put the same amount of tea in every pitcher. So the same amount of tea in every pitcher. And let me copy and paste this. So copy and paste. So she's going to have eight of these. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So she wants to put the exact same amount of fluid in each of these eight. So she's going to divide evenly the 15,000 milliliters into eight pitchers. So that's straight up division. She's going to start with 15,000 milliliters. 15,000. And she's going to divide it by eight. She's going to divide it into eight equal groupings or eight equal pitchers, the same amount in each of the pitchers. So eight goes into, doesn't go to one, it goes into 15 one time. One times eight is eight. Subtract. 15 minus eight is seven. Let's bring down a zero. Eight goes into 70 eight times. Eight times eight is 64. Subtract, we get a six. Bring down another zero. Eight goes into 60 seven times. Seven times eight is 56. Subtract again, we get a four. Then bring down a zero again. Eight goes into 40 exactly five times. Five times eight is 40, and we're not left with a remainder. So if we divide 15,000 milliliters into eight equal sections, each pitcher is going to have exactly 1,875 milliliters. So that's 1,875 milliliters. But that's not what they're asking us for. They tell us that her, her guests drank six pitchers of tea, and how much tea did Mary have left over? So the guests drank one, two, three, four, five, six, leaving two pitchers left. How much total T is going to be in that? Well, it's going to be two times 1,875, or 1,875 milliliters times two. Let's figure out what that is. Two times five is 10. Two times seven is 14, plus one is 15. Two times eight is 16, plus one is 17. Two times one is two, plus one is three. So what she's left with, what, what she's left over with is 3,750 milliliters. Now they want our answer in terms of a whole number of liters and a whole number of milliliters. And we just have to remind ourselves that 1,000, 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. So you could rewrite this. This is the total number of milliliters that she's left with. We could rewrite this as 3,000 3, milliliters plus 750 milliliters. Now the reason I wrote it this way is because of 3,000 milliliters, this is literally 3,000 one thousandths of a milliliter. We already saw that 1,000 milliliters equal to one liter. So this piece right over here, this is equal to three liters. This is equal to three liters. So if we wanted to write it as a whole number of liters and a whole number of milliliters, this would be three liters three liters and and 750 milliliters 750 milliliters